Yo, how's it going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I put out a video talking about Kamzat Chemaev because Kamzat Chemaev thinks that it's his right to fight for the title next, even though he hasn't beaten a real 185er just yet. But recently, Jared Cannonier, right? Um, great fighter. He's in the top five. Pretty much called out Kamzat Chemaev to about. Now, that would be a great opportunity for both fighters. Obviously, for Jared Cannonier, if he beats someone like Kamza Chemaev, I think that's going to be a good enough argument for him to be next up for challenging for the title. And that would be obviously a great matchup uh, if Dreykus Duplessis is still holding on to that belt. Jared Cannonier versus Dreykus Duplessis, in my opinion, would be very entertaining. Now, for Kamza Chemaev, this would be the shortest cut... The shortest shortcut to fighting for the title probably I've ever seen, right? Because he could beat someone in the top five and then automatically call out to fight for the title. And in my opinion, I feel like they definitely will give him the opportunity to fight for the title if he's beating someone like Jared Cannonier. Now, I think that this would be a great fight to have in Saudi Arabia, which is rumored to be postponed, right? Earlier in January, around January 10th, January 15th, uh, pretty much news came out and uh, the Saudi Arabia card was postponed and they pushed it back towards June. Now, I think Jared Cannonier versus Kanda Chemaev would be an absolutely great fight for them to have in June in the Saudi Arabia card. There is a good argument out there right now to have Sean Strickland fight Kamzat Chemaev. And that fight would be very entertaining. Obviously, if Sean Strickland beats Kamzat Chemaev, that would get him back into fighting for the title. And the same thing could be said for Kamzat Chemaev. If he's able to win out, you know, a fight against Sean Strickland, obviously, that's going to put him into title contention as well. But I feel like the tougher matchup is definitely going to be is going to be Jared Cannonier. Just the fact that Jared Cannonier has been a very consistent fighter throughout his entire career with consistent knockdowns, proving the fact that he has a lot of power. Um, that would be a very interesting fight because a lot of the knockdowns that we've seen from Jared Cannonier have been in the pocket where Kanza Chemaev loves to be in and where Kanza Chemaev has found a lot of success is in the pocket where he's able to grab you and take control of his opponents because of, we know that Kanza Chemaev has a, a grappling base and a wrestling base. Um, so that would be very interesting to see and that would be a very interesting watch. And I would definitely, definitely expect the UFC to give Kanza Chemaev a very short cut, a very short shortcut to the title if he's able to beat someone like Jared Cannonier. Now, we've seen Jared Cannonier put out a couple interviews saying and stating the fact that he does want to fight Kanza Chemaev. Now, a couple months ago, unfortunately, Jared Cannonier had to go under surgery for his MCL injury. But I still think that he has what it takes when healthy to compete against Kanza Chemaev. And, you know, Jared Cannonier is one of those fighters that's very underappreciated in the middleweight division. If he's able to beat someone like Kanza Chemaev, that would be very, very good for his career. And another crazy fact that see, people seem to forget is that before uh, Kanza Chemaev fought Kamaru Usman, he was supposed to fight Jared Cannonier. Now, originally what happened is Paulo Costa got out of the fight. They called Cannonier short notice, 11 days. Cannonier said yes. He got injured. Dana White had to do something to save the card, and he called up uh, Kamaru Usman. So originally, it was Jared Cannonier that was supposed to step up on short notice. Um, unfortunately, uh, that's just not the way that things panned out. But this could be, you know, in some sort of a redemption for Jared Cannonier, and it's definitely a fight that we need to see sometime this year. Uh, there's reports that Jared Cannonier is going to be clear to go in March. And uh, originally, that was whenever the uh, Saudi Arabia card was supposed to go down. But I think, and this is just my hunch, right? I just have a gut feeling that we're going to see Jared Cannonier versus Kanza Chemaev in the Saudi Arabia card. It's almost like I'm 95% sure that that's definitely going to happen. Uh, but... 
anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Would you guys like to see this matchup? I definitely would. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And as always, it's a pleasure talking to each and every single one of you guys. Have a good one and peace out.